Hello, it's Matt, and welcome to episode 45. I say with confidence. Could be episode 45 of Gross Oversimplifications, where I talk about how to do stuff to your guitar yourself. Um, and I've got a treat for you today. I am going to talk about guitar stuff. That's the treat. So, um, now I thought about this because I've got, like, weeks worth of wiring to fix today. Um, so, and, and there's a couple of things that I want to uh, get in your head. Um, I know lots of people like to wire their own stuff, um, and that's great. Do it. Um, I know some people are quite bad at wiring, um, and that's, that's also good. Um, just practice. Um, go get yourself a proper soldering iron and, and try. You'll, you'll get better. It's fine. Uh, but I do want to make two points. Maybe three, maybe lots more. But today, I'm going to spend three minutes talking about politeness in your wiring. What am I talking about? Um, now, so when you go to wire your guitar, and sometimes you're in a rush, sometimes you just got to get it done for a show, or you've got to do, or you're just excited and you want to you know, tack your pickups in for a little bit. Um, that's cool. Um, but spare a thought for future you or people like me when you do your wiring. So um, I see it a lot where people just seem to want to gut their guitar every now and again. Um, they get in their head that a particular type of pot will be better um, or they read too much marketing and there's, you know, all the, the capacitors. Anyway, for whatever reason, they'll rewire their entire guitar. Um, and I implore you, um, because it's very irritating, um, to use a sense of sense when you do this. Okay, so when I open up a, a well-made guitar, you open up an ESP or you open up a Sir or something like that, whoever's done the wiring has done it with a plan. And when you open it up, you can see what's going on immediately. You can tell what's connected to what, okay? Um, and it's not because the, the wire runs are super short or super neat. That's actually um, detrimental in my books. I'll go on about that later. Um, but all the grounds are the same color. All the hot wires are the same color. Keep these two apart. And pedal manufacturers, I'm looking at you sideways looking somewhere always when you open up a guitar and they're all it's like a tangle of orange wire um you can't tell what's going on so if you need a quick fix you're not going to get a quick fix because you have to spend half an hour trying to work out what's connected to what because you didn't do it politely so make all your ground wires black or at least make them the same color make all your your hot wires with scents. Don't have a multicolor rainbow in there because it's stupid. Okay. Um, the other thing w which I said about the short wires. Um, now, if we know anything about guitars, stuff comes loose, right? And if you've done, done your wiring like those, like pictures for Instagram where it's super, super perfect, um, lengths and you know, or you've had a, a pedal board made by somebody and they've done perfect runs. And then you go buy another pedal and you can't unplug it because it's too perfect. Have a think about that. Allow a little bit of wiggle room. Okay. So if a pot does come loose, um, you can just go, Oh, it's loose and tighten it back up and the wiring will still be intact. It won't just snap off because you made it too short. Oh, I'm going to have to do more of this. See you next week.